Hi, Advocate. Uh, are you able to hear us? I am able to hear you. Uh, can you hear okay. me? Okay. Advocate, can you just help us understand and the viewers understand what the mandate of the Office of the Transformation Ombudsman is? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning to you and your viewers, and uh, thank you very much for, for having me. Well, the mandate of the Office of the Transformation Ombudsman is to conduct an investigation um, into allegations of, you know, unfair discrimination. And it's really to just uncover and discover the truth, you know, um, behind, you know, what it is that is happening behind the scenes that is holding, you know, uh, some black cricketers back. So it's really to just um, try to understand uh, all the complaints in relation to unfair discrimination, unequal treatment and um, inequality of that nature. Are you going to investigate the claims? We will definitely investigate uh, the claims. We have to. It's the only way we will be able to then make recommendations to Cricket South Africa. So we have to investigate, you know, uh, the veracity of, of all the claims or rather complaints or submissions uh, in order to be able to have a way forward. I am understanding this correctly, however. If somebody comes, they lay a complaint and you go and investigate the complaint, the person that you then have to go and verify that incident with, can they just say, I don't have anything to say? Well, um, of course, the, well, I'll, I'll use the word perpetrator for now. Any allegations, first of all, against any perpetrator, they will know beforehand. So if someone has been implicated through a submission or complaint, we will let them know beforehand that there's this allegation against you. And they will be given an opportunity to make their representations, to basically then reply. And uh, whether they choose to reply or not, you know, will be their discretion. But it is voluntary for people to come forward. At this stage, what we have decided on is that it is a voluntary process, right? So no one at this stage, you know, will be forced to participate. You know, we, we have just basically called an invite to anyone who's interested. We've also sent personal invites to former players, current players, and we're going to continue sending more invites this week. So um, those who wish to submit uh, will do so. However, you know, we, we are expecting submissions for, from the 40 players um, who, you know, obviously have themselves the Black Lives Matter. So we, 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 we do look forward to those complaints in particular. Um, but uh, we need as many people to participate in this process. And we encourage participation because it's the only way we'll be able to, you know, have a proper outcome. When you say a proper outcome, some people actually want to see legal retribution. Is that something that's going to be happening? We haven't looked into that yet, and I'll have to come back to you on that. But really, um, the purpose and, and our intention uh, um, as, as, uh, in, in the Office of the Transformation Ombudsman is to promote healing, truth, and reconciliation. That is the purpose. So um, our outcome will be sort of geared towards that direction. So you have open submissions. Uh, you said you have sent out personal emails. Uh, people have only, however, got until the end of this month. It seems like quite a short period of time. Well, I, I don't think it's a short period of time. I think, um, you know, um, since last year, you know, um, you know, people have obviously known about the work of the Social Justice and Nation Building Project. Um, they know that we look forward to these complaints. Uh, these are complaints, you know, that, you know, are obviously not new. So um, it is about three weeks that we've given. Um, and, and we believe that it, it is sufficient time. Also, if we take into consideration that there are some players that have just been sent a personal invite. They, they were sent personal invites. So we have former players, current players that have sent, uh, that were sent personal invites. We've also sent a personal invite to SACA, which is the, the South African Cricketers Association. So um, the, the personal invitations for submissions uh, to those uh, stakeholders will enable, you know, uh, uh, submissions to come through and um, enable us to, to have enough submissions by the time the deadline 
uh, hits on the 30th of April. Advocate, you've opened it up. There is a postal address for people to submit written submissions. There's also an email address, uh, which we do have on the screen. But what should a submission look like? And are you going to take a look at every submission? There's some people that got lost in the system at regional level, maybe at club level. Can they offer their contribution and what they went through? Thank you very much for that question because um, it's a question that has come up this week about you know what should what should we what should the submissions entail what should we state you know what are you looking for well really um, you know we don't want to sort of dictate what you should state but you know if you understand our mandate which is to just uh, investigate all complaints in relation to unfair discrimination in the game of cricket so if you have uh, any experiences of that nature, you know, we want you to share them, you know, and maybe other players will feel that, you know, they've never been unfairly discriminated. We want those submissions as well so that we can have a balanced view, right? And um, we will look into each and every submission that we get. We will classify them, you know, into different categories and um, really it's open. And um, once we have the submissions, we'll then be able to sort of determine you know, which submissions are, you know, speak into our mandate and which submissions don't. Um, however, I would um, like to just emphasize that all we're looking for, it doesn't have to be detailed. And really the purpose of the written submission is just so that we can have an idea of what um, each, you know, each player or each person that will be coming forward will say, you know, and we'll be able to prepare them for the hearing. So it doesn't have to be, you know, long, paragraphs, it can be bullet point of your experiences or any injustice that you have uh, experienced, you know, we, you know, that's what we're looking for. So really the discretion is you, but as long as the submissions enable us to determine what it is, you know, the, the, what the complaint is. All right. Thank you very much. I think you've got a lot of work ahead of you, advocates, uh, in the Office of the Transformation Ombudsman of Cricket South Africa, assisting advocate Dumisen Zbez, senior counsel, who is the Transformation Ombudsman and was named so for Cricket South Africa this past week. We thank you very much for your time. And that is how we come to the end of your sport.